All right. Hey, everybody. So it's been about a year since uh, moving into this house that we built, and it's been about two years since I put this driveway in, and we made a video about it. We had to clear this all out, laid down non-woven geotextile fabric, uh, put down some non-spec gravel that includes all the fines and the little bits that uh, kind of pack the gravel together. And the plan was to come back after that, after about a year or so, and top dress it with some washed regular gravel. Have not done that yet because as you can see, we have weeds growing like crazy. Uh, this is grass that is growing through the fines even though there's weed barrier down. So I'm gonna have to deal with this before I come in and kind of top dress this. And I'm not gonna use a glyphosate type of weed killer because that causes cancer and kills critters and humans. And, but I'm gonna show you what I am gonna use. We're gonna see if it works. I think 100% know it works, but I wanna see how long it takes to work. And uh, so that's what we're gonna do today is wipe out these weeds kind of the natural way. This is 45% concentrated industrial strength vinegar. Not like household vinegar or cleaning vinegar. This is a pretty caustic chemical. Still vinegar. What's the difference? Regular household white vinegar, 5% acetic acid. It's what you use in your salad dressings and maybe to clean your windows. More of a cleaning vinegar would be 6 to 7% acetic acid and the rest is water. Just that little one to 2% helps a cleaning vinegar clean your windows. You can use it in your laundry, whatever. But that extra little bit of acid gives it a lot of cleaning power. Cleaning vinegar at six to 7%, you don't really wanna put in your salads. It doesn't taste good. This stuff will melt your skin off if you let it. You don't wanna breathe it. You don't wanna get it on you. Uh, and you have to dilute it I'm gonna dilute it by about half. This stuff is nine times stronger than regular household vinegar. And we're gonna use this to kill weeds. So, use gloves, use long pants, preferably long sleeves, maybe a mask. Do it in the sun, outside, preferably in the morning before the sun comes up, on a day that it's not gonna rain, on a day that it's going to be very sunny and very bright and very hot, because that's what activates it to kill the weeds. So we're gonna mix this, dilute it one-to-one -one with water, add some dish soap so that it sticks to the leaves, and a little bit of salt, maybe half a cup of salt to give it that extra boost. Way better than glyphosate, Roundup, uh, and a lot safer, so, but you still have to be careful. So this is a gallon of 45% vinegar. This is uh, about two-thirds of a cup of salt. This is a two-gallon garden sprayer. Just gonna put all this in there. Next, a gallon of hot water to help dissolve the salt. A little bit of dish detergent. Fill this up to the one gallon mark. So, I'm putting on a long sleeve shirt. Kind of like a welding job. And I'm using rubber gloves, uh, disposable gloves. You don't want to mess with this stuff. I've seen pictures if you get it on you. Now I bought four gallons of this on Amazon. I'll leave a link to it below if you want to get some for yourself, but this will make eight or more, eight to 10, two gallon sprayer fulls of weed killer. And you can see they tape the lid for shipping. This is from Bell Chemical Company. Smells like pickles. So far, so good. Well, that wasn't too bad. Used almost, well, a little more than half, and I did the whole upper and lower driveway. 85 degrees, 
no wind, UV index is about nine, perfect conditions. You don't want to do this even if there's a slight breeze because it'll, it'll hit you, man. It, it's like you can't breathe it. So we're going to let this sit. No rain in the forecast. I want to see how long it takes for it to start dying off. I'm expecting that by tomorrow at five o'clock, two days of bright sun, we'll see some results, but we'll see in a minute and uh, we'll see what happens. So I just looked out the window. It's only been one hour and it's already turning brown a lot. I mean, I knew it was gonna work pretty fast, but I didn't know it was gonna work that fast. This lower driveway, turning brown already. So it's been uh, 24 hours exactly since I sprayed this. This stuff worked within four hours. So by five o'clock last night in the afternoon in that direct sun, all this was brown. Then we got a bunch of rain last night, which uh, didn't matter because this, this had already worked pretty well. No longer smells like vinegar or pickles out here. And uh, you can definitely see the result. There are a few pieces that are still green a little bit uh, that I probably missed. Definitely some pieces over here that I missed because I was trying to do it quickly and it was hot and it was trying not to breathe that stuff. We'll see how long it actually lasts before I have to do another treatment and maybe another month. Maybe I'll get lucky and I won't have to do it again this year, but my goal is to kind of just get this to die off so this doesn't take over the driveway. But I think it's a good solution if you're looking for a more ecological, eco-friendly weed control solution. Definitely better than using uh, cancer-causing chemicals. Um, it just probably is going to take a little bit more maintenance and upkeep, but that's fine because you're not killing everything around you. Just kind of controlling what you want to control. I would not use this in a garden. Most likely you're going to kill everything in your garden if you try this because it's pretty uh, non-discriminate. It doesn't care. So definitely do it for general weeds and pull your weeds in your garden by hand. That's going to do it. We'll see you in the next one.